The Alberta Crop Sustainability Certification Pilot Project saw 40 farmers from across Alberta participate in on-farm assessments similar in nature to those who would seek certification from four major internationally recognized certification programs. The project led to a better understanding of Alberta farmers' readiness in relation to consumer-driven sustainability standards that are growing increasingly important in the international marketplace. Four farmers tell us about their assessment experience. I'm John Gilly. I'm a director with the Alberta Canola Producers Commission, and we farm near Westlock. I decided to participate in the sustainability project to help other farmers and try and dispel any of the fears that they might have about doing it. My name is Kevin Elk and I'm a director with the Alberta Wheat Commission. I farm near Carmagee, Alberta. I joined the project because I think it's important for Alberta farmers to get our message out to consumers that we are farming sustainably. I'm Ryan Kubinick. I'm a director with the Alberta Pulse Growers. I also sit on the Pulse Canada board. A farm near Westlock, Alberta. I saw the value in the certification project as in exposing the consumer and, and other producers into the good things that we are doing already. My name is Jason Lenz. I'm a director for Region 3 with Alberta Barley as well as being the vice chairman. We farm in the Bentley Sylvan Lake area. We thought it was real important to be proactive through this assessment process and just to see what the assessors were looking for when they came to our farms. Before I started, I thought it might be some nosy city guy uh, coming out to uh, check into what I was doing. I was a little afraid about the detail level. Was it going to be a financial audit, essentially? You know, everyone's afraid of that post-tax letter in the mail that says, uh-oh. <laughs> I wasn't sure what we were going to be going through, what we had to disclose. I really wasn't sure what to expect. We just went through basic information and uh, looked at a few records. It was a general view at our environmental farm plan, some fertilizer plans, our land maps, and uh, just the records we keep. I was surprised that once we went through the assessment that we found a lot of the things that they were looking for are things that we're already doing on the farm. And the other benefit was that we found some things that we're not doing but really wouldn't be that hard to change in order to uh, conform. I found that it really wasn't uh, burdensome at all for farmers to take part in it. It was uh, kind of an education process for us as well. I learned in this process that on my farm, there's things that, that I'm doing well but there's also some things that, uh, that I could improve upon. Some of the things that we learned about that we could make better on our farm are off-season storage of chemicals. Some of our chemicals are stored on a mezzanine level, which wasn't advised to be best practice, and that's something that could easily be changed. During the assessment, we, uh, we dealt a lot with employee management, which I wasn't really expecting, I guess. And that was uh, an eye-opener, because we need our employees to be sustainable, because we're nowhere without them. So that opened my eyes a little bit more. This is a great opportunity for you to showcase what you're doing, to uh, tell your story to the consumer on the good things that uh, we as uh, Alberta farmers are doing to remain sustainable. Our farm, and I think a lot of farms in general, are doing a real good job of, of being sustainable because really our livelihood depends on it. And if you're not improving every day, you're getting left behind. The advice I'd give to other farmers about this project is when you have the opportunity, just do it. It doesn't take a lot of time and it'll show the consumers what we're doing is very sustainable. It'll show you what things that you can change. I would encourage any of the farmers that are interested in this Alberta Crop Sustainability Certification Project to take part in it because I think it's a great way for us to show consumers we are being sustainable both with the environment and we're producing safe food for everyone.